Even as House Democrats gear up to unearth the real Robert Mueller report and expose Donald Trump's crimes, Trump is wasting no time pushing forward with his deranged agenda. Near the top of his list, getting rid of the Affordable Care Act and taking health care away from tens of millions of Americans, while replacing it with nothing. Suffice it to say that this isn't going over well, and now Trump is throwing a fit about it. Donald Trump's latest attempt at sabotaging Obamacare and destroying President Obama's legacy has gone over so poorly, even Trump's fellow Republican leaders are letting it be known through various media leaks that they want nothing to do with it. Instead of realizing that he's picked a loser of an idea, Trump is instead doubling down on it and, naturally, doubling his empty bombast. On Monday night, Trump posted this angry multi-part tweet, everybody agrees that Obamacare doesn't work. Premiums and deductibles are far too high, really bad health care. Even the Dems want to replace it, but with Medicare for all, which would cause 180 million Americans to lose their beloved private health insurance. The Republicans are developing a really great health care plan with far lower premiums, cost, and deductibles than Obamacare. In other words it will be far less expensive and much more usable than Obamacare. Vote will be taken right after the election, when Republicans hold the Senate and win. Back the House. It will be truly great health care that will work for America. Also, Republicans will always support pre-existing conditions. The Republican Party will be known as the party of great healed care. Meantime, the USA is doing better than ever and is respected again. That's right, he spelled it healed care. Dot to be clear, there is no consensus that Obamacare doesn't work and there is no evidence that Donald Trump and the Republicans have any such alternative. This is the same utter nonsense that they pushed back in 2017. They didn't have an alternative back then either, most Americans saw right through the con and Trump and the GOP got pummeled in the midterm elections as a result. Now Trump is intent on making the same mistake again.